Oh, Fluffy Place. Oh, look at these people. I think they're ready. I think you guys are. Fluffy Seeds. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O, and I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. On today's episode, we're going to tell you guys about, you know, Christmas presents and what really gets the Fluffy Poodle and I in the mood for Christmas. Now, for some of you, this may be like a controversial topic because, you know, funding is key when it comes to the holidays. Some people have stuff, some people don't, but what I really think that matters is doing something for somebody, you know, making a simple card, baking them something, tell somebody, you know, I don't have much to give except my love and my attention and to be with you. You know, like be with you around the Christmas tree, around, uh, you know, you guys eating dinner, just spending Spending time together and doing the things that matter most during the holidays. And with all different types of things to ask for during the holidays, you know, um, the Fluffy Poodle and I are actually very simple to get stuff for. And the reason why the Fluffy Poodle and I are so simple to get things for is because, you know, where we live, we have absolutely no family within a couple hundred mile drive. Yes, that's right, dog. I, none of my family or my spouse's family is within a couple hundred mile drive of where we live. So it's not every year we can be able to spend that quality time together. Now, going back to the presence on what the Fluffy Poodle and I love, it is right here. This is what we really love and we get excited for every single year. And that's a box full of nummy goodness um, that's homemade baked goods. Or even if people just, you know, took some things and stuck them in a zip baggie or, you know, a container that was bought from the grocery store and sent it. We love all of that stuff. We love trying new things like puppy chow. I mean, he's even licking his lips, but you can't have this one because that's chocolate in it. What about these reindeer cookies? I mean, look, it has Rudolph's nose on it. Are these a lip smacker too? He licked his lips, so that's a lip smacker. We also had chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah, white chocolate and dark chocolate. We also have some sort of muffins that we don't know what type they are. They have big muffins and Little tiny muffins. Maybe chocolate chip banana. Well, he didn't lick his... Oh, he licked his lips, so I can try it. That right there, Fluffy, was a banana chocolate chip mini muffin. Now, this is where things start getting interesting, and I love this time because you start getting packages like this that you have no clue what is inside, what's it called, or anything. But if he licks his lips, I think it's edible. We're going to dive right into this and see what kind of stuff is in here. Oh, look at that. It looks like a pretzel with some chocolate and an M&M on top. Mm-hmm. Next, we have some of these type of cookies right here. Not sure what they are, but they have a Hershey's Kiss on top. Save those for later. What is this? I'm gonna call this reindeer poop. Kinda looks like it just kinda splattered on the ground with a little bit of snow on top, but you know, we have to try it, Fluffy. Oh, you see him lick his lips? Come on. Oh, that's good. Ooh, that's real good. Next up in this mystery container is, um, <laughs> smells like butterscotch, chocolate, a little bit of coconut, and, um, something else to make that bottom right there. We'll save that one for a little bit later. So what if that little bit later was right now? That was some good stuff right there. My family members not only sent me one container of mystery desserts, they sent me two of them. So now we have to open up this one and see what is inside. Ooh, that one looked good right there. That one looks really good. I have no clue what this is. But I'm gonna call this one actual reindeer poop. The last one was like, like the case of Taco Bell with reindeer. This one looks pretty cool. That is interesting. I have no clue what's inside. I have no clue if I'm gonna get sick. I have no clue what's gonna happen. 
But Fluffy, there's only one thing we can do, and that's shove this thing right in our mouth. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, dog, that you can't get none of this. I'm I'm for real. I don't know how to describe this, but kind of like a nutter butter with caramel, marshmallows, a little bit of everything. Next up in this mystery container, we're going to uh, slide this over and... Oh! Shake a leg, shake a leg, shake a leg. We got snowballs. If you guys don't know what a snowball is, this is a really, really good, I think there's like walnuts or pecans or some sort of nut in here that's really good. These are one of my favorite things to eat every single year. Um, that's probably why there's so many of them. Underneath those snowballs, we have, um, I don't know what this is, but I'm sure it was made in a casserole dish. Uh-huh. I don't even know how to describe this. I don't know what it is. All right, there's only one way to settle this right now. Who's gonna eat it? The first one in three, two, one. You tricked me, dog. He went in but didn't take a bite, made me take a bite. We're gonna call this yellow mystery bar because we don't know what it is, but it does taste good. Now the last thing in the box of goodies that we got sent from our family is two of my most favorite, two, hold on. Two of my most favorite things, and that is right here. Banana bread. Some homemade banana and zucchini bread is some of my favorite things. Um, it's just, you put you warm this up, put a little butter on it, stick it in your mouth, swallow it, and it feels like home to me. Because growing up every holiday season, we always made banana bread with my family, and uh, we always sat around Christmas morning and ate banana bread. And it was just a memory that I cherish. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people all around the world who watch our videos. Um, this is what the Fluffy Poodle and I love. We love little treats for him. You know, some really good high-end treats because, you know, he is a working dog. And then me, I love, you know, little moments like, like this. The, the moments that you just cherish and spend time together, you know, make something for somebody like these people did, you know, spend that little quality time. And if you can't make something, just go and, you know, give somebody a phone call, reach out, you know, make sure everybody's okay, even your neighbor. And with that being said, I hope that you guys have an amazing, amazing holiday season. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. This is Daniel the Bago with the Fluffy Poodle. Y'all have an amazing day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. <gasps>